Hello and welcome back. Um, today we're making boozy apple crumble. So you start off by peeling a cooking apple. Um, this recipe makes, well I did two of each. I did two with fireball which is a cinnamon whiskey and then I did two with a homemade limoncello. Um, and I did it in individual pots, a little ramekins or something. So one apple will do two ramekins essentially. So I'm going ahead and peeling two apples here. And then chop the core off and then chop it into bite sized chunks. Try and make them all the right size and try not to chop your fingers off. Go ahead and put some vegan butter into a pan with about two teaspoons worth and melt that down. Doesn't take too long to do. And then you add your apple to the pan with the butter. And you're essentially frying it off and letting the juices of the apple release into the butter and soften down. Apologies, you see my arm a lot in this because I haven't yet got a proper camera set up. Right, then you add a tablespoon of dark brown sugar. You could use light brown sugar, but dark brown has more of a caramelly flavour. What you'll find is the sugar melts into the butter and starts to coat the apple. And then you go in with one shot of fireball whiskey. Again, let that cook down gently so that you don't end up with um, the alcohol burning off too much. And then I added a handful of currants. You could use sultanas. And then they'll absorb some of the liquid. So just give it a quick stir around, lots of mixing in this. And then when they're cooked, you'll set it to the side while you make crumble topping. So to make your crumble, in a big bowl, put half a cup of plain flour and half a cup of oats, there we go, in the bowl. And then you need about a quarter cup of vegan butter. I put slightly too little in, but it should have been quarter of a cup, I think. Quarter cup to half a cup. Then you just uh, break the vegan butter up in your hands and start to work the mixture, um, kind of rubbing it in until it resembles breadcrumbs. Edgy breadcrumbs. Then go in with about a teaspoon of ground cinnamon and a teaspoon of ginger, ground ginger and a little bit of salt to add a bit more flavour then I added another tablespoon of dark brown sugar and just mix it all up it's all kind of combined and evenly distributed then you're ready to assemble so you can see I've got two small oven proof dishes um, so to spoon your mixture in between the two dishes making sure they're even you get every last bit in
and then top with the crumble. That's what it looks like. So then I actually did this again, but instead of using Fireball, I put in Lemoncello. I didn't add any extra sugar to the apples and I put some mixed peel in and topped with mixed peel as well. So then my four crumbles and then bake in the oven at 180 for 20 minutes. Okay, so remove from the oven and when they're done, they should be golden brown on the top. Just leave them to cool for a little bit. I actually, I like these hot and cold. When they're warm, you get a bit more of the alcohol flavor, um, but they're quite nice cold as well. And that's what they look like, along with my Fireball. Not sponsored, by the way, just like Fireball. Okay, so thank you for watching and let me know if you make these yourself and what you think please don't forget to like share and subscribe and do all those good things and i hope they have a lovely christmas and i will see you next time cheers